converted man here by request of one of my many many loyal subscribers and often commenters gibberish here is the meme you cannot be angry at what does not exist a lot of people say this theists say this atheists say this skeptics say it people say this it's not true it's an outright lie so cut it out all right we're done moving on no okay a little bit more so let us recognize the fact that all emotions are not based on anything logical. Emotions are by and large irrational, although they might be based on rational thinking to some extent. At their core, they are chemical reactions caused by our brain for various different reasons. In the case of anger, it's a survival trait. It's part of the survival mechanism fight and flight symptom where you're getting angry because you're charging up your adrenaline getting ready to fight or run away and your anger is focused on the thing that you're going to do that to now if it's not a thing that exists this will display itself in different ways words or actions or inactions i know what it's like to be angry literally at nothing just be angry just be absolutely furious for no reason at all. The only reason is that my brain wasn't producing the right chemicals and the right combination. And once I uh, got the right sort of medication to alleviate that, it wasn't a thing anymore. And when I learned how to meditate and breathe, which is what meditation is, just breathing, but it's... You know, it's like, here's how to meditate. Breathe. Well, that was hard to learn, but it's still, it's a, it's a thing you kind of have to learn anyways because it just takes time to get used to this idea and to feel it working. I mean, we have the demonstrably demonstrable results of that sort of meditation working, so we know it works, but still experiencing it for yourself is a whole process anyways. My point is we can get angry at literally nothing. So if that's the case, and it does seem to be the case, then, yeah, we can get angry at stuff that doesn't exist or stuff that doesn't make any sense to be angry at it. And it's what we do that matters, not what we feel. So if I'm angry and I punch the wall, that's a bad idea because I've hurt my fist and I've hurt the wall. And now I have to repair both, and that's a bad thing. And, in fact, I might be more angry at that it's better to punch a punching bag because it's designed to withstand that force it's better for me it's better for the wall it's far better than punching a human or some creature or what have you so dealing with your anger needs to be done in a civilized way but we don't always think that way in that moment and we might lose control, and we have to live with whatever we do as a result of that. So, recognizing that we can get angry at anything or at nothing for any reason or no reason at all, I think is the only way that we can begin to get through these problems that are caused by ourselves and others by anger. Injustice, certainly that's going to make you angry. But how are you going to deal with it? Okay, well, let's protest. Let's stage a protest. Let's march on the Capitol. Let's write letters. You know, civilized response, not riots, not violence. Although there have been some that have argued that that's the only language that, that they understand those who oppose us it's the difference between Malcolm X and Martin Luther J Jr. who are you going to go with I like both I like what they both had to say and both of what they said had merits but I prefer the peaceful method I'll go with Jr. and Gandhi over X's methodology any day of the week but I'm ideally a pacifist by nature but when I get angry that whole idealism goes out the window, and instead I'm Hulk, and everything and anything that stands in my way won't be standing very long. And I don't want to be that. So in order to change that, I have to recognize that 
anger is not logical. That anger is a chemical that I can control it with meditation. I can r control it with medication. And I don't have to let it control me. I can control it to some extent. So when somebody says you can't be angry at something that doesn't exist, all they're doing is lying. They're lying about reality. They're lying about how things are. And you just say, look, it's not true. You can be angry at absolutely nothing. That's the truth. And every time we lie about what anger is, we set ourselves back to some degree. Because only by admitting what it really is can we learn how to deal with it properly? All right, so let's summarize. This statement, it's an outright lie, so don't do it if you've been doing it. Stop doing it if you're doing it and cut it out. Every time we lie about what anger is, we're kind of screwing ourselves up. So let's stop doing it for that reason if you didn't like the logical reason. If you have a meme that you would like me to address, please let me know in the comments below and or post comments about this video in the comments below and or just comments in the comments below. Stop saying comments, 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 comments. Anyways, I hope that was helpful for you, gibberish. You, you haven't made a video for me. I keep telling you, make a video for me. And you're like, not making a video for me. So, make a video! I don't care what it's about. Just mention lobsters. It, it doesn't have, I don't care what, it, just lobsters are in the video. Everything else that you do is irrelevant. I don't, you know, it could be like, uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I just want you to do it. Do it! And then dress like Misty for me. Dang, nabbit, I'm gonna get somebody to dress like Misty for me. Someday. Someday. What do you mean I'm dreaming? Who said that? You're fired! Now I'm firing my fake pretend director that doesn't exist. And it's your fault! It's all your fault because you didn't dress like Misty.